Hello, listeners. It's been a while since I've shared a story with you. Today, I've got a chilling tale to share about our family's eerie encounter. Not long ago, after many years, I decided to return to our provincial hometown of Palawan, the birthplace of our family. I was born and raised here until grade school before moving to the city for high school. I continued to live in the city where I found my first job, got married, and started a family. Many years passed since I last visited Palawan, as life in the city kept us busy, and my entire family had also moved to the city. One day, I decided to take my family back to Palawan. I wanted my cousins to meet my family so that they wouldn't grow up as strangers to each other, recognizing each other only through Facebook. During our stay in Palawan, everything seemed normal. We enjoyed the fresh provincial air and delicious food. Our house was located next to a river that flowed into the sea. It was a beautiful and seemingly peaceful place. But don't be fooled, there were many stories of spirits or encantos residing there. Some believed these spirits protected and preserved the beauty of the place. One night after dinner, I was washing dishes in the outdoor kitchen. I chose this spot because it was cool and I loved hearing the sounds of nature especially at night, including the river's flow behind our house. My cousin saw me and warned me not to be alone outside late at night as I might attract unwanted attention from the spirits. I laughed it off, saying that since I used to live here, the spirits would recognize me. My cousin then pointed out my long, loose hair could be attractive to the spirits. He left me alone to check his fishing traps in the river. The next thing I remember was waking up soaking wet in the arms of my cousin. He told me he saw me walking into the water. He had called out to me, but I didn't respond. I just kept walking straight into the water until it was neck deep. Just when I was about to disappear under the water, he managed to reach me in time and pull me out by my hair. My relatives were alarmed and forbidden me from going near the river again. They suggested I stick to the beach instead. My uncle visited a local elder for advice who said that a spirit had taken a liking to me, attracted by my long, dark hair. To appease the spirit, I was advised to cut my hair and offer a white native chicken's blood into the river. The elder also suggested it would be better if I returned to the city sooner than planned. I had gone on vacation only to be bothered by flirtatious spirits. I didn't want to cut my hair, so I decided it was best for my family and me to leave early and plan our vacation elsewhere next time. Listeners, this chilling tale teaches us that we should always respect nature and the unseen beings that may dwell within it. When we enter another's territory, even if it's a place we once called home, we should tread lightly and be mindful of our actions.